All right, guys, I'm doing this really quick while I let this chicken cool off. And it's a pretty well known fact that I just don't like this guy. I just don't like this guy. So I said, you know, let me go on here and see what this guy's been producing in the last year since he exposed me as someone that doesn't know what I'm doing. If you said it didn't take too long to figure out what's going on, this guy's literally the worst trainer on the planet. It's hard to find a video with him with a leash in his hand now, though. He's busy filming everybody else and starring in it as the narrator. This guy has what's called a manufactured personality. If you said, what, 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 where else can I view these manufactured personalities? Used car salesman. What these people believe training is, you're not going to find anything of any substance. What these people believe training is, is forcing one onto a cot. This is literally these people's training. And then they scratch the head. And if you said, but a cot in the middle of a parking lot? Yeah. And then the person stands right there. If you said the person literally stands one foot away holding a leash, but isn't that what they do in beginner obedience classes? Yeah. Well, this other person walks in counterclockwise circles. How often do I say don't walk in counterclockwise circles? If you said, well, it's got good, enga good engagement. It's doing everything in its power not to look at her. If you said, what about this? And look at her head down. <laughs> now it's walking in counterclockwise circles. If you said it's sped up, yeah, they've sped the footage up. So if you said that's what they do, they get put dogs on cots and then proceed to walk around in counterclockwise circles. Now they rub the dog on the cot. As the other dog goes around, you said, what, 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 if, what if they get distracted? The guy is standing literally one foot from the cot. If you said, well, that's just this video, Kelly. It's not like video after video of full-grown men standing over a cot. That's literally all it is. Rep after rep. If you said, well, he's getting that from Nick White. Otzi, that trainer from Germany, said had one. one. If you said, this is sped up, too. So if you said, now this dog is being forced on a cot, but he's walking in clockwise circles. Oh, don't worry. We'll start going counterclockwise in a second. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you said, what was Otzi's sum up of this training? Shit. If you said, what was Mark's? These are this Mark. This is the emojis Mark was sending me. <laughs> that was the emojis. You're going to need to speak. If you said, well, that's pretty animated Malinois. Pretty animated Malinois. If the basis of your training is forcing one onto a cot, that's it. They don't know how to do anything else. He said, well, he copies Nick White, so that's what Nick White does. Now he's petting the people on the head. Now it's video after thumbnail after thumbnail after thumbnail of this guy. It's just him. If you said he's a manufactured pathological narcissist. Absolutely. Nobody would have this many pictures of themselves. And then decide, of all people on the planet, I don't know how to train dogs, and he's going to expose me. <laughs> oh, my God. But it's, it's a very common theme. The second you see a cot, okay, here. It, it's all about him talking. He thinks he's good looking or something. So if he said this, never give up on a dog. He pushed it out of his face. At least he was smart enough to do that. He said, what's this guy's background? What, what criteria? He doesn't have any formal training in dog training. He cannot keep his hands off the dog. I was actually, I actually unfriended him because he's so handsy. If he said the dog is, like, dog is liking it, these dogs are doing everything they can. I've never seen anybody less likable to a dog. If you want to go on my group, eCollar College, and see this guy's garbage all put together videos that he's actually taken down off YouTube because I, or off uh, Facebook because I ripped them and set them in slow-mo and called them abuse. That this Pockhouse, there's this woman, Pockhouse, go find her. If you're friends with her, you're gone. 
Oh, she was going to take on my deaf dog with her deaf dog. Because I'm really in love with Aaron. <laughs> and it's just not that I just don't like this guy. It's just like, you've got to be kidding me that that's what you're coming up with. You're looking at my work and saying she's in love with this idiot that's got a long line that he's tripping over. Every dog is doing the shake-off, and he cannot... So if he said there's not going to be any actual training in this video, just his hands all over a dog and him talking about how he never gave up. I just don't like this guy. This is the epitome of a manufactured personality. A fast-talking flim-flam. I only went live with him because I honestly thought he was a good man. I did. And there are good men in this world, and he's not one of them. And that's my opinion. And if you said, oh, well, he's already said you're mentally ill, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That right there. My response to that is, let's try to find some actual training with him as the handler. So in a year, if you said, how many videos has this guy uploaded since he called you out as a fraud? because you dared say Tommy Loveless was doing it wrong. It looks like about maybe 30. There is such a thing as terrible people. The, the level of manufacture to this guy's personality. If you said, I've been around this guy, and this is how he is all the time. Nobody's like that all the time. If he is, then he's really truly a sociopath. And if you said, you're not qualified to die well he's qualified to diagnose me as mentally ill it's it's a classic it's a classic exhibitionist narcissist so that's why every thumbnail of his is of him 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 not dogs if you said i looked at your catalog and it's dog after dog after dog after dog look at this shit oh my effing god it just, look at this garbage First off, little training wheels boy here has a long line. And if you said a long line isn't training wheels, the hell it isn't. And if you said I use a long line, I don't use a long line. But if someone said I personally myself use a long line, then I'd say, look at this garbage. Who would even videotape this? And like Ted said, if this is what goes on when the camera is on, you can only imagine what is going on when this camera, look at this dog. If you said good, it's got it on the line because it's looking for a way out, away from his handsy hands. When this whole thing happened, when he called me out and sicked his whole mob on me, if you said, what did I do? First, I was stupid. I didn't go look at the video, his videos while we were on live. But I said, I will take a look at your work. I clicked off. I went, oh my God, look at his hands. Look at his hands. Oh, my God. He actually pets him with the remote in his hand, too. I went straight to this cat guy's catalog. I typed in recall and saw a dog doing the shake-off, non-effing stop from this idiot activating the e-collar. And the title of the video was Happy. If you said this guy didn't even know what the shake-off was. His videos are nothing but the shake-off. If you said this dog is going to do the shake-off after his grotesquely large hand moves. Like Carol said. Look at him. Look at it. If you said, wow, it's really responding. The engagement's crazy. Look at it. Look at it. It's, it's, he's, he pets them as they're going away. Look at it. It's, it's left the shot. It's, it's leaving the shot anyway. No, he, he's adjusted the shot. This is what's called a manufactured personality. If this guy and his little mob are able to diagnose me as mentally ill, then I'm able to diagnose him as mentally ill, and I can tell you exactly what it is. If you said from watching Dr. What's his name from Harvard on YouTube? Absolutely. Absolutely. This guy's an exhibitionist narcissist. He has to have an audience to his narcissism. Who would upload a video? If you said, well, like he said, it's going to be an amazing result at the end. This dog is never seen on video again. None of them are. If they appear in two videos, that's... The thumbnails say it all. The 
thumbnail say it all. Let me change just this thing. Let me find, let me go back to where before. Before. Oh, here's, here's a turnover. Okay, well, th these are always good to see, turnovers, where we can see the actual training. So if you just said, this is what they've got this family doing, forcing this dog to sit there while these people throw a ball. That's the training. It's supposed to sit there while the handler stands there. I've never seen, okay, so do you sit now? It's healing along at least. Now you still got him bouncing the ball. There you go. You saw it, all trained. If you said that was a couple thousand bucks. They don't, this guy doesn't have any idea what he's doing. Right, let me go back. She's, oh, that's Hanny. There's literally nothing here. But minute and 14, 31 seconds, well, 29 minutes. That's him talking. There's no dog. Oh, I don't believe this dog. He just wants treats. So if you said there's no actual drills or, you know, I'm going to push that. Th this is how much of a narcissist this guy is, keeping pit bulls alive. So if you said, again, forcing one to sit on a cot, how is that? Now she's going to pat it on the head. None of this is valid, I promise you. There's no... There's no healing in counterclockwise circles. There isn't. It doesn't make any sense to the dog. If you said, what, where are we going? That's why these dogs have such a shit attitude. They're not going anywhere. If you said this, it's painfully remedial. It's, it's beyond bad. If you said, well, all these people, support, they've got to be idiots. I don't have a fear of one single person, one single supporter of him, because you would have to be a goddamn idiot to think that this guy knows what he's doing. It's grotesque abuse. He's taken all the abuse ones down. If you said because of you, I told Mark he fucked with the wrong motherfucker. Because if you think that I'm playing at this, or this isn't my life's work, this isn't your life's work, Taylor. Your life's work was being a cop. This is your money-making scheme. That you're gonna be like Nick White, the world's worst person. This, this is grotesque, this is grotesque. He, he repeatedly allows the dog to run between his knees, then squeezes it between his knees and hits it with the electric collar. It then yelps and screams and runs back between his legs because it had been taught it's the safest place to be. He now kicks it in the effing head. If you said that was an accident, it's a bumbling idiot not knowing what they're doing. You don't let him run between your knees 500 times petting him and then suddenly, his exact quote in the video is, now that behavior needs to be eliminated. So if he said he let it run between his knees 15, 20 times and then states this is now going to be eliminated and this is the elimination. Yeah. This is him eliminating the video. This is him eliminating the behavior. I had to watch it a couple times to actually see what went on. In real time, I want you to understand this is four times slower. In real time, it happens very fast. So watch closely. The dog dives between his knees. He then squeezes it between his knees and hits the e-collar. It retorts and barks. Get the hell. It now runs behind him, runs back in between his knees. He kicks it in the head. She said that was an accident. It doesn't look like an accident. 
to me. The dog now takes off running, look. He said, well, it doesn't get any worse than this. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. The dog takes off running in terror and he lights it up. If he said it comes running back, no, no, it doesn't. I just can't get over how bad this guy is and I don't have a single fear. Him and all of his little pack went to my diamond bar kennel and put one star reviews because I'm mentally ill, because I dared say, the great Taylor. If he said, what was that? Oh, I think that was him throwing the long line down. Now he's gonna show us all how great he is. He said, where's the dog? Oh, is it right beside him? Okay. All right, so what happens is this barn where the dog's kennel is, gets within the dog's reactionary gap. And I always talk about this dog's re reaction, a dog's reactionary gap. If you said, what is it in this case? It's the case that, it's the point that the dog thinks it can break away and run back to the kennel. If you said it had done that before, it looks like it might've done that before because it's sort of starting to do it a little bit. It's saying to itself that maybe, maybe, it's not gonna come to him, look. He's trying to get it to come, look. Now he's wrapping the leash. He's getting a good grip on it. He's getting a good grip on it. He hit it, he just hit it with the car. He follows the Larry Kern method. Now he's gonna hit it again when it gets to him. Watch, watch, watch. He's gonna hit it with the collar again. That's why it's barking at him. It's actually barking at him. Now it's looking back towards this barn. All the signs are here. It's fixing the bolt. It, it, that's what I try to explain to people. You don't have to read between the lines of a dog. You just have to read what they're saying. If, if they're looking that way, it's, you said people too. If you just keep looking at the door, it's possible you want to leave, I mean, you know. Or someone looks at their watch or whatever. There it looks again, it looks again. If you said he's busy be, doing being his exhibitionist narcissist, yeah. You're not paying attention to the dog at all. If you said, well, the dog won't eat treats. That's your job to get it eating treats. It won't eat treats because he's lit it up with the collar. It's so shut down. It, it just wants to run away. It doesn't want to eat. Once the dog feels like this, and this is where you have to have remote tools. Because once a dog gets closer to something than it is to the handler, that whatever it's closer to has more influence. So if it's closer to this barn, it's saying to itself, if I can just get closer to this barn, then I'll be safe. You know, watch, it's, it's fixing to bolt. I, uh, you know, if you say, what, I mean, who would even upload this? If you're that bad, that you're uploading this, that you think it's good. Okay, now he throws the leash down as he's gonna show he's Mr. Pro Trainer and he's gonna get it to come without the line. Look at him patting his leg. He said, oh, that looks real pet owner-ish. He hit it with the collar. I want you to understand that what this moron just did was used a bump of the constant to get it into a sit. Now he's gonna loom over it, rubbing its head. He just can't keep his hands to himself. I feel sorry for any woman. He just cannot keep his hands to himself. If you said the dog is loving it. It's, it's disturbing. It's disturbing that somebody with this lack of skill and this level of manufactured personality, he's so disingenuous. I, to take, to tell three of, if you said, well, who are these people? Well, one of the people was Aaron, because I didn't give him a chance to explain this garbage training. And the others were with these two girls. 
oh, Ashley and Heather that said, oh, we think she's crazy. So were they psychiatrists? No. All right, so here we go now. The dog is now shut down. It's decided my new plan is to lay over here by this fence. Yeah. You gotta watch this stuff in slow-mo without sound, and you may have to watch it several times. It's like that movie Vantage Point. The dog is completely shut down. Its strategy is to lay down. That's shut down. When their strategy is to just not even move, it's, it doesn't see flight, it just sees freeze at this juncture. It's, it's on a tight line, it's on a tight line. He said he's still yakking away, acting like it's some kind of training. Oh my God, that dog is unbearable. All right, let's get to the part where it runs away. Oh my God, this part, this is unbearable. This is unbearable. This guy should be in jail. There should be charges for this. It's that bad. All right, so now we got him again, bending over, looming, 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 rubbing, rubbing. Did, that anybody would upload this, people. We've now got a dog that's gonna bolt. It's, this kennel is coming into its reactionary gap. And this is what I'm talking about. It says to itself, if I can get close enough, there it goes, there it goes. If I can get close enough, Electric, running, running, screaming, running, 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 away, away, away. He said not to him. Finally to him. Now watch, he's going to hit it again. Watch, watch, watch. Boom. Bark. You sick motherfuckers that support this car. It's people like this. This guy needs to be reported to Guam. He does it again. He does it again. He does it twice. The dog has now been hit for not coming. It's now gonna be hit for coming. Watch, boom, bark, revere. He's gonna do it again. Watch the head. This is disturbing on every level. If you said it's gonna go run around behind him, try to get between his knees. Mm -hmm. That was the escape that it was initially taught in the beginning. There it goes. No, it didn't wait. No, it's gonna no, it's back to its lay down behind him. If you said, but he's just talking away, talking away. If you said, what's he saying? Oh, I'd never let one bite me. Because it got aggressive. It got aggressive from the electric collar. It's now back to shutdown mode. All of this is on. He may have deleted it, but I ripped the files because I'm smart that way. <laughs> so what about other ways? Oh, other ways. That way. This guy actually uploaded this. And he was too busy talking. If he said, what's he saying? Oh, I would never let one bite me. Oh, oh, the dog needs more corrections. It's just terrible. If he said, then what? The animals go on a little farther here. And he takes it out in this field. I might not have put that part on there. Oh, no, it cut out, but I'm going to just show you these pictures. This is, this is what's happening to this dog when it's being hit with this electronic collar. He said, I don't have a problem. You got a problem with that, really? Relax. He's physically throwing it up in the air. Look at that. Look at that. If that doesn't bother you, look at this. Look at this. That's 
outside the living room. Look at that. Look at the tail. I mean, everything. I'm going to take this picture and decorate it as gross abuse. Anybody that supports this guy, if you think I'm afraid of any of you, I removed the review section so you and your little ditz brains can't go on there with your pseudo-psychiatric diagnosis that God forbid anybody say Aaron Taylor doesn't know what he's doing. There's your proof right there. If you need to see more than that, if you said give me the Cliff Notes version of the video, he's already lit the dog up before this video starts. He then starts explaining how the dog was flailing on the ground, screaming and yelling from his corrections. If you said, what corrections? It's all he just got there. Exactly. He then proceeds on with this and starts using what he claims is the tone, but the dog is now so freaked out, it's having a terrible reaction. It's now running and getting him between his knees. That's the drill. He, if the dog runs, get between his knees. So it does this about six, seven, eight times. And then this guy decides, actually states, okay, we're not going to eliminate that behavior. And then let's, this is what happens. The dog goes between his knees. He squeezes it between his knees and hits it with the electric collar simultaneously. And that's the result. And if you said that looks perfectly fine to me, then you don't know what you're looking at or talking. Anybody that supports this guy if you said you're afraid of him and he's a Mr. Big Shot, who cares? He can go around saying, oh, I have the coin all I want. He, he's a terrible dog trainer. And in my personal opinion, he's not even a decent human being. <laughs> if you said nobody cares, they should care. They should care because that's grotesque abuse. These people are operating on such a remedial level If you said, he's, what's he doing? He's busy talking. If you said the dog deserved it, well, what is it? Look at this. I said, I don't have a problem with that. If that was my dog, I, hell, I'd post this on my Facebook. I'd say, here's my dog at the trainer. Here's my dog getting trained. Good for you. Because I might not know much, but I do know how to train dogs. And this guy is literally the worst trainer I've ever seen. It's the, the, the tra dog training is not forcing one on a cot and then standing right there. Anybody could do that. You, you've got full grown men standing a foot away with a dog on a leash on a cot. That's, that's not training. <laughs> that's not even close. This is what this guy is parroting from what he sees Nick White doing. It's disturbing, it's disturbing. And if you said, oh, he's gonna come at you with this pack, bring them on, bring them on. Because if you said, that's all you've got is this, oh, I've got video after video after video of this guy grossly abusing dogs with electronic collars. And if you said, who are you to say, anybody's using them wrong, an expert, that's who I am. Anyway, I just don't like this guy, I don't. It's a manufactured personality. Let me let you hear what he talks like. If you said, like a used car salesman, worse. If you said, well, I don't have a problem with that. If that was my dog, if this was my dog, if that was shoe bottom, then I would say, fine. I'll post it on Facebook. Here's shoe bottom at the trainer. Here's shoe bottom with their trainer. Look at that. this guy was. He said, I don't have a problem with any of that. That's disturbing. It's disturbing. Here the dog is trying to escape. It goes in between his knees. He squeezes it. Boom. That's what they upload, people. That's what they upload. If you said that's the good stuff, 
and that this original video where he talked about the dog flailing on the ground screaming was never seen. Mm -mm. This guy is a fraud, a flim flam man. If he wants to come with me, bring it on. Because this time, Taylor, I'm bringing my pit bull in the name of Mark Patton. <laughs> Mark's like, what? <laughs> if you said, what will Mark say? Okay, well, what am I supposed to say to this guy? <laughs> if you said, what I told him to just ha ha, I wouldn't get him all set. Anyway, but that's, you know, I, I don't need a pack of people. He came at me with a mob of like 50 people. If you said, what did you do? After I saw his work, I just posted like 4,000 videos on the thread and then posted every bit of his garbage. I finally got sick of doing that though, but I just, I said, let me go on there and see what this guy's producing. Mr. Big Shot, fancy schmancy trainer. You, 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 you can fool people that don't know what they're doing, but if you said you could show this to that girl Annette from Israel. You could show this to the Bulgarian guy. You could show this to the trainer from the Ukraine. You could show Taylor to the trainer from Romania and they would all say, we are very impressed with this man's work. Every single one of them is going to say shit. I just don't like this guy. I don't. I don't. He has a manufactured personality, and remember that. You're not going to be able to train dogs. If you said, who, who else has a manufactured I'll tell you who else has a manufactured personality big time, even though they're relatively innocuous, is that Zach George. He has a completely manufactured personality. If you said, what are they doing? They're trying to play the role of a dog trainer by using what sounds like, you know, oh, distance, duration, distraction. Using what sounds like official sounding language. In Taylor's case, what he does is try to talk real fast. Let me tell you what we're trying to give you some e-collar tips here. And there's some things you don't know about the e-collar. And I get a lot of questions about the e-collar over the years from police trainers and everybody else comes to me with questions about the e-collar. Ain't nobody asking him about the e-collar. I'm a single person on the planet asking this idiot about the e-collar. Just don't let this go. Just don't let this go. And I will. I'll show it to people and publicly put. No. I'm decent enough to say to people, listen, I'm not going to say anything publicly, but what do you think of this? If you said you already know what the answer is and these are loaded questions. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> They're completely loaded questions. The level of, of, you should see the dog's graduation. This is the dog's graduation. Let, let me let, let you listen to this guy's voice. What's going on here? Okay, hang on. Drive. A lot of uh, sibling syndrome in the, sibling listen. syndrome in the college. There's no the sibling home. syndrome. And part of the problem with these two dogs, if you want to say the word problem, part of the issue, is that their entire life, they had no he said he's making Caesar Milan noises. Feed off each other. So it was like the problems right. times two, or times one hundred percent, right? With two in there, very little boundaries, very little limits. Now, they would pull together like their life was on the line, literally to the point that when we did the eval for these dogs, they came out, they got tangled, leash wrapped around uh, juvenile females' legs, and the dog uh, pulled the female off her feet. It wasn't pretty. They so if he said, now these are now based on this. Based on the fact that they've committed this crime of pulling the female juvenile, who talks like that, off their feet, they're now going to be, let, let's move up to the one that this now, the, the white one. This is the, the white, there's two of them, the white one. The, this one's terrible too, but this is. You've already heard his voice, so let's, let's go back. But let me just show you what a finished dog is to this moron. This is the same dog. If you said a dog expert is not going to be able to look at that and within a half a second say, this dog looks extremely uncomfortable.
to the fairs. You said it's still on the long line for the graduation? Yeah. He's ruined it with the e-collar, so now it has to have on a prong. He said, what was that? It was leaning on him. That's It's now resorted to this leaning behavior. So when he stepped away, it fell. It's, it's disturbing. It's disturbing. He said, well, if I went and picked up shoe bottom, and that's how she was acting, he can't keep his hands off him. He said it doesn't look uncomfortable. It doesn't look uncomfortable. It's doing the shake off. It's now going to do the leaning in, in an attempt to make him stop. In an attempt, they'll do this as an attempt to control the situation. But it's doing it in its doing the bracing itself behavior, where it's just leaning into you in an attempt. So he's going to get up and it's going to fall. If he's got a long line and prong collar, that's professional training. This costs thousands of dollars. Yeah. And he said it doesn't look uncomfortable. Look at the face. It's already just done the shake off. He's now mauling the neck, so it's getting more uncomfortable. Waiting for its prong collar jerks to come flying out of nowhere. It, it, it literally falls. It was all over. If you said, how long is this long line? It looks like it's about three miles long. <laughs> if you said, now here, go back to the exhibition, this narcissist talking, talking, talking. If you said, sure, well, let me just show you, let me just give it a little worse, and I gotta do my puppy videos, but oh my God. This part, it's unbelievable. If that girl, Vanessa, that trains the border cause, I already showed it. it you said, well, she knows dogs. She saw one second of the golden doodle video and said, the dog looks uncomfortable. She didn't, if you, there are people like this don't even want to watch this garbage. Because these animals are so being forced because they're so uncomfortable. He's putting it in this box. It's, it's, it's absolutely unbearable. Okay, so more. Can't keep his hands off it. Rubbing, rubbing. He thinks he's bonding with it. He says it's about to do it. Now, again, it's, it's doing the leaning thing again. So he gets up. Now it falls again. Those guys literally the last train I've ever seen. Godfrey saw the one with the golden doodle and said, holy shit, is he from another planet? I swear to God, look at this dog. If you said he's busy talking, not training. Yeah. I just want to show you how he gets it in this box. None of this makes any sense. If you said a platform. No, no, it's not a platform. It's some weird box he rented. If you said, I wouldn't have any problem to log on and see that be my dog, I would say, great. This looks great. He's doing great. Doing great. I would be saying, oh, am I going to have to drag that line around then? Am I going to If you said, I'd be saying, am I going to have to this, that orange thing at my house? I think he's trying to get it, gonna get it in his box here in a second. Is 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 that's unbelievably bad. The dog is just just saying to itself, God help me. Anybody, something, anybody. It's looking to the camera. The it's the wife behind the camera. I don't know. He had it got it in on this. That's maybe he makes it jump out or something. This is where it starts doing the shake off. can't keep his hands off of it. it. Starts petting. It literally starts doing the shake off. Oh, he's petting it. If he 
said, does he notice? Yeah. He's looking for an escape. It's looking for an escape. Oh, it needs, it needs to stay. Like it's going anywhere. It doesn't even move. going anywhere. I mean, just completely shut down. Why, why would it go anywhere? Oh, if you said now he's going to do some of his weird kicks and arm lifts as distractions. Probably. I just don't like this guy. Right now, again, he systemically moves towards it, starts petting it, puts his face right in its face. It's just looking away. It's thinking, God, get me out of here. Get me away. Get me away. Help me. Naughty. Oh, stay. It, like it's going anywhere. Why would you stick your hand an inch from their face and say, stay for a dog? It's not, and clearly not going to move. It's completely shut down. I gotta go back to the part where he gets it in the box, though. Oh, okay, here, here, here. Watch, he's got it in this cot. Now he wants it in this box. But it can't get in there from the side. None of that makes any sense. It belly, it gets a belly blow right there. He said, I'd be perfectly fine. If I went on there and my $3,000 was paying for this and that was my dog, I would say, boy, he looks like he's doing great. You know, and I really like these drills. Look at this. He said, well, that's how, what they're designed. You jump over. It looks like it's designed for it to get in on the front. All right, now look. Now he starts scrubbing it. Look at the mouth. Look at the mouth. Look at it. It's going to do, literally do the shake off while he's doing this. If he said he doesn't notice, no. Look at that. He does, doesn't know what that is. If he said, what would be the analogy? A tire guy that didn't know that you needed to put the lug nuts on to keep the tires on. I think that's Mark, if that's a good one. If he said now he's going to go to the end of this rope and use that electric collar to force the dog to come to him. Mm -hmm. If he said, well, but at least he eliminated the going between the knees behavior. If he said now he's posturing with the remote. Mm -hmm. If he said, well, at least he eliminated the going between the knees behavior. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Did he? This guy's exact quote is this behavior needs to be eliminated. And he stands like, what's this? Look at him right between the knees. He said, well, not like it's gonna do the shake off again. Oh, yes it is. Watch. It, it just, that's head to toe. It, this dog isn't learning anything. Now it tries to go back in the box. Instead of being smart, this idiot pulls it away. Instead of using any slight bit of intuition. Why, Marlene? Any, oh, Marlene, this guy tried to call me out, sick this whole mob of people on me. I don't know what I'm doing. And you, you've known me how long, Marlene. My whole life is this, you know that, my whole life. And this guy who was a cop and retired and had a business for two years is going to tell me I don't know how to use an e-collar and he does. <laughs> it's, it's, I just don't like this guy. I just don't like the guy. If you said, what did this cost? Marlene, this cost two or three thousand dollars. This is the graduation. This is the two weeks training. If you said, they, where, if you said, where are we going to keep this rope at our house? <laughs> well, Marlene, Listen, you're just going to go out there and get the boat, off, the rope off the boat. If you said the boat, the boat rope is 500 feet long, Kelly. Well, according to this method, that's what you're going to need, Marlene. 
The dog is now in his lap. If you said it's full of love, no. He's gonna get up again and it's gonna fall again. It's, it's gone stiff. The dog isn't fluid at all. This guy is handsy, handsy. Oh, I should show you this video, Marlene. If you got, it was like two hours long. This guy screaming at me, liar, liar. Saying, I've, you know, I said, I've got puppies. I do puppy work. I've got a pager trained retrieve. I've invented wireless check cording. This is what I've done. If you said, what did he do? He screamed, liar, liar. We train the dogs that you're not capable of. If he said like this one, mm -hmm. his, his channel is nothing but half-assed dogs. If he said killer after killer, killer after killer. If you said, you better watch out, Kelly, he threatened you. Yeah, well, he did. Oh, it's just a complete scam. Well, he's in Virginia, but you know, he was gonna show the world that Kelly doesn't know what she's doing. And this is what was on his channel. Oh, he went berserk. Oh, you've been taking my footage and setting it in slow-mo. Well, if it's good in fast motion, it'll look good in slow-mo, is the reality. If you said it looks terrible, it looks beyond god-awful. People don't know what they're seeing. People don't know what they're seeing. There's one where he goes in this cage with a husky. That one guy sent it to me. That one guy from Belgium or something. If he said sent it to you saying, look at this good training, no. Look at this idiot. And I guess apparently this tailor was holding a grudge all this time because I went on his thing and commented about him putting a bite suit on and jerking this six-year-old spayed female Malmute all over the place. If you said this guy, six foot four guy, put on a bite suit to go get a 60 pound six-year-old spayed Malmute out? Yeah, I just don't like this guy. He's literally the worst trainer on the planet. If you said, who will back you up? Mark Patton and Godfrey Dildai. And if he wants Phil Holscher to do it, I'll get Phil to say it here because he wanted to drop Phil's name. Let's let Phil take a look at it, Taylor. You don't believe me? You believe Phil Holscher? I know Phil. Phil's eaten dinner at my house before. I know Phil. If you said, you know Phil's not going to like that work? Yeah, I do know that. <laughs> Is you're not going to fool people that know what they're doing. If you said, I could go and be suddenly, pretend like I knew what I was doing, go down to the cop shop and pretend and pretend like I've been a cop for 30 years and know ever, all, all the little all ins and outs of being a cop for 30 years. Hardly. You know, I, I don't want to be like I'm holding a grudge, but the, the guy is just, he's, he's really just that bad. Let me show you the one where he's pulling the husky around. That was where it all started. I had unfriended him because he was so damn handsy. But I saw, I just, I just said, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. It's ridiculous. And then when that guy from the Netherlands or whatever sent me that video of him jerking that dog around, then I said something. If you said you sat back and let a dog let this guy, and you didn't say anything. That's not what happened. Uh, no, I started calling him out right away. There, there's worse than this. Oh, here it is, here it is. This is what I wrote. And if you said, well, you're coming across as clinically insane. Do you really think Marlene would leave her dogs with me? If I was clinically insane, Marlene's like, well, maybe. <laughs> I like a little crazy. This is, this is this idiot. He, he learned how to trade dogs from watching the dog whisperer. Oh, I don't know, girl. I didn't go out there. I went to bed so early, it might have come late. I'll go out there this morning when it gets light. I'm going to be home all day and all weekend. If you said training, yes, the puppies are all going home. So He's on the ground trying to act like he's oh, showing dominance. If you said that's a big bunch of bullshit and that's not even a mean dog, look at this dog. It actually does a default down but he's too stupid to see what it's doing. If you said, well, the dog looks like it needs to have a bite suit put on and gone in there and yanked out of there. Gone in and yanked out of there. You, you could easily get this dog out. Look at, look at this idiot. He's on all fours, showing dominance. It's, it's unbelievable. Okay, now look at this. If he said, well, the dog did look pretty mean. 
All I did was sit there. It literally did nothing but sit there. If you said, well, it's getting ready to attack. It's going in the corner. It's afraid. He said, this guy is that inexperienced. Look at it. It's terrified, Marlene. He's making it like it's this vicious killer that he's got to put this bite suit on. If you said, does it ever try to bite him? No. It goes in the corner. Look, it goes in the corner. He's trying to lasso it. It's, it if you said it's coming at him, it's going like this. It's going, ah, ah. That's not trying to bite you. Oh, hi, Naeem. Oh, hi, David. This, this guy learned to watch. Uh, Omar is the one that told me that, because I don't watch the dog whisper. He's like, oh, my God, this guy learned to train from the dog whisper. If you think that David is looking at this dog and saying, damn, that thing looks so bad. That was, that's some, that's some bad ass to, Hi, Naeem. I was telling my parents about you, Naeem. I said, Naeem's wife went to a wedding, and she got stuck in another part of Pakistan because of the covoys. If you said, what did they, they didn't care, Naeem. They really didn't care. <laughs> they just listened to my stories. All right, I'm good, Naeem, I'm good. I hope you've been watching the puppies. All right, look, so if you said, Noel, it's coming at him, coming at him, it's running. It's trying to get away. Look at it. If you said, look at it, look at it. If you said, any time they have learned to hook the paw, David, am I wrong? Anytime they've learned to hook that paw over that leash, that's a learned behavior. To attempt to stop, it it's almost becomes a reflex behavior to, to, to protect their neck. If you said they're not hardwired to protect their neck, they absolutely are, and you know that. Look at this. If you said, well, Kelly, you know, a six-year-old spayed female can be pretty vicious. If he said, I don't see a dog that's just looking for an escape, that's all I see. He now makes up some crazy bullshit. Pressure release to get a feel for the dog. If, if this thing got loose right now, it would be gone. Let's face it. And I know, Naeem, I was telling my parents about you. It would be gone. And this guy, am I wrong, David? The chance of him being able to chase it down wearing this bite suit. <laughs> Slim to none. Okay, so now he's back. Now he's got it all trained. If you said, well, what happened in between? Yeah, nothing. He then puts the electric collar on it, takes it outside. I don't know if I have that part on there. And, oh, there's all video. There's all, there's all pictures of it, too. The dog, and David knows, because he knows bite dogs, if you have a dog and you're coming at it and it's going, arf, arf, uh, that's different than one that's going like this. <laughs> Am I wrong? I've had many a dog, that one dog, and I've got pictures of it, uh, Alex, the Alex from the, the videos, the Alex effect. I've got pictures of it, but it's in the corner there of the kitchen, and Sonar, the big great Dane, has got it backed into this corner and so it's showing every tooth in its mouth if you said is it making any forward motion no it's going back as far as it can to the point is practically you know you've seen it it's it's almost standing in the corner because it's back so far and sonar who's like a big clown who doesn't have she's not afraid of it at all she's more startled by it but then once sonar makes a move away then this alex then would do the little you know, after her, so then it sort of became the yin and yang thing, but that dog wasn't even doing that. Yes, that dog, and because listen to me, David, this dog had already supposedly been subjected to that off-leash canine, which is that two-week training, if you said from certified trainers, yeah. certified after two weeks, if you said, well, what does this training involve? I knew this guy that went there, and I should probably try to get him back in my life, but I'm such a rotten little thing. I'm so picky about my friends. Um, but the training for this off-leash canine thing was 
a long line. Not, you're not even going to believe this. If you said I've heard of this before, I never have. With a paint can hooked to the end of a long line. And your job was to reel this paint can in. If you said, what does that have to do with dog training? Well, later it was the dog. So if you said the dog would be as willing as this paint can to come to me, so I'd have to use this rope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's terrible. It goes on and on with this guy. Oh, yeah, David, this guy tried to call me out, say I don't know how to use an e-collar, that my videos are nothing but dogs playing in a yard, and I'm a liar, and I don't train puppies, and I didn't invent... If you said, what did you do? I do what I do to every mofo that tries to come at me. I went right to their catalog and typed in the word recall. Because in my opinion, if you can't do a recall, you don't know how to do anything. Yes, I don't know if they give them an actual certificate or something, but if you said with a few little marketing, smoke and mirrors, and a flashy intro, and sign, and claims of largest franchise, blah, blah, blah. They're able to fool the stupid general public. That can't come as a shock to anybody that the general public is easily fooled. If you said by flashy lights and claims of miracles, yeah, yeah. This place has is two-week training. If you said, what about the advanced training? That's the weird part about it, David. If I was going to have a franchise and I was going to start out, it's like any franchise, Sure, they start out with hamburgers, but then they got a Big Mac. They got the, am I wrong? If you said, what about this place? In all the years that they've been in business, has there ever been like an advanced? No, don't you find that odd? Don't you find that odd that you would not have the extra crispy chicken option that you would say to every client? If you say, what, are your, what do you say to your clients? I say this is going to take months, even years of costly professional training. And <laughs> not, it's two weeks and see ya. If you're able to, you say you're able to say this stuff with a straight face? Yes. I mean, honestly, my advice to any young dog trainer is you've got to get the right demographic of clients. I really, I've got three main clients. And it's doctors, lawyers, and builders, and Marlene. <laughs> Marlene's in her own category. But that's who these people are. And so if you said, when you tell them it's going to take months, even years of costly professional training, they believe you because they understand, you know, if you had some condition that a doctor had to treat, this could take months, even years of costly professional treatment. <laughs> yes. You know, I mean, to get a really a finished dog, if you said, what would be the ultimate finish? The ultimate finished dog would be a dog that won the national championship in whatever sport it was. Am I wrong, David? I still, I gotta tell Katrina the story. I gotta just go, go back in time with Marlene a little bit because I still laugh about this story. Me and you and Steve, and if you, when you talk to Steve, remind him about this story. Me and you and Steve at the Ducks Unlimited Banquet when Carl used to run the banquets, remember? Me and you and Steve, and Stevie was there, but he was at the table with his friends. If you said, was his table right next to ours? No, remember, his, he went to the other side of the thing. He wouldn't even sit with us. So it was me and you and Steve. And that was the silent auction. And we were going around getting all this stuff. You know, we, you said we were getting all the good stuff. Yes, we were getting all the good stuff. And then like when it was getting close to the end, there was like stuff that didn't get bid on. So me and Marlene went and put Rick Ferrito's name on everything. <laughs> it's all terrible stuff. All terrible stuff. We went and put Rick Ferrito's name on there, bid, whatever it was. We made it that Rick Ferrito, but, oh, Rick Ferrito has plenty of money. He can afford it. Anyway, so then, the, you know, they come down to the end, and they're, like, saying who won the silent auction and everything. And they're like, oh, Rick Ferrito won this. Rick Ferrito won that. So Rick's over there. You know, she said, what, what's you and Marlene doing? Me and Marlene is over there, you know, like, trying to act like we're drinking our drinks and stuff. Like, we don't notice anything going on, giggling under our breath, of course. You know, we don't know anything. So if he said, so then Rick Ferrito seems to, you know, sort of looking around the room and sort of suspects that maybe you two, just based on your giggling and, you know, the fact that you had a couple drinks and you're not able to keep your, you know, giggling under wraps that well as the auction goes on <laughs> and he's winning all these prizes that he didn't bid on. If he said, then what happened? He comes over and confronts me and Marlene. <laughs> if he said, what did we say? We said, I was a quick thinker. And I said, it wasn't us. We didn't even know how to spell your name. <laughs> if 
he said, what did Rick Farina say? Rick Farina said, my name was misspelled. <laughs> so we were caught. Me and Marlene were totally caught. If you say what happened, I think Rick Farina was a good sport and took all the stuff home, but <laughs> we wouldn't have, probably wouldn't have gotten away with that next year. They would have watched us. They probably would have assigned us security to watch us closer the next year. If you said nobody was watching us, no, we were sneaking around. I think, if, in fact, I think it's what it was. I, I was probably running cover for Marlene or vice versa. So I was probably like blocking while she wrote Rick Farina's name on the thing. You know, I was probably blocking her while she wrote Rick Farina's name on the thing. <laughs> we almost got away with it. <laughs> anyway, that's where we're at. So that's, you know, I think it, the most important thing people need to say about dog training, though, it's not, if, if somebody comes out with you, how do I stop it from doing this? How do I stop it from doing that? You have to say to yourself, you're thinking of it wrong. If somebody said, how do I stop her from going on Facebook? My response would be, good effing luck, because I'm not stopping. Well, I think if you said, if a dog was, what would be a finished dog? And you're right. It, they're never really finished because that dog, Lottie, won the National Open twice. Because if you said, they said, Mike Lardy said that dog was finished when it won the National Open, he probably wouldn't have kept training it and won it twice. In fact, I think it won it three times. I think it won it three times. If after twice he would have said it's finished, the dog is finished, he would have kept training it and won it three times. I've got to look it up. My memory's so sketchy, but I'm pretty sure the dog won the National Open three times, and it was a bitch. So, you're right. They're never completely finished. But if you said, what age was this dog when it achieved? It was six, seven, eight years old. And if you said, well, I went to herding trials, and I went to obedience trials, and I went to hunt tests, and I went to all these different things, and the dogs on the national level were six or seven-year-old dogs. Yeah. They're six or seven-year-old dogs. They're not... They don't even let dogs, like Mark's, got, Mark's dog just won the Derby, but you're, you're, they don't even let dogs under two go in the open because people would push the envelope so much. It's just like with Schutz and two, where the dog it had to be at least 14 months to get a Schutz and one, which I know they don't even have Schutz and anymore, but because people would push the envelope too much, you know, and then they'd have six-month-old dogs out there trying to run the open, you know, but... That's, you know, if, if you said they, they, ha they can go into the derby till they're two. Yeah, they're, they're not even going into the open until after they're two years old. Yours are already winning all the prizes for the cutest pets. And I've got the videos from Tractor Supply. Let me tell you what's been going on. I got this van from Deland Nissan. Now the van can't be found. It's in some warehouse in Miami, and apparently these people don't answer the phone, and when they do, they don't speak English. If you said you're believing any of this, no, I'm not. <sighs> I've already taken the other van over there. They've got, they valued the trade, they've written up the invoice, but they can't find the actual van. If you said, what do you say? I said, no, I don't believe anything. <sighs> If you, I'm going to call the guy today and say, listen, let's go on the outside chance that maybe somebody that speaks English will answer the phone at this warehouse in Miami today. If not, then let's just get me, get the white one with the steel wheels that I want. And I just won't get the red one. And, you know, it'll just be easier than, you know, whatever I'm going through now. <laughs> I am ridiculous, but that's, you know, this guy underestimated my commitment for somebody that, a, a trainer of that caliber, to sick a mob on me and say, you're crazy, you don't know what you're doing, you're a terrible trainer. I do nothing but upload my work, and it's, if you said that helps other people learn, it helps me learn. That's how I got to be as good as I am because I watch everything in slow-mo without any sound. Oh, hi, Lorraine. I watch everything in slow-mo without any sound. And so if you said your brain is now trained to see detail, yes, it is. Because once you add sound, the part of your brain that processes language is now activated. So now it's making mental pictures. Oh, this, you know, it's, it's, there, there's now all kinds of mental pictures coming into your mind because the part of your brain that processes language doesn't just stop processing. It, it's not able to. If you said, what if you turn the sound off? Well, then it's able to. That's why I can see so much detail. 
you know, and for somebody to rob me, if you said, well, this guy was a cop for 30 years, so don't rob him of his career. But he can rob me of my 30-year career. I was with Dr. Prestow for 18 years. I only left because I didn't like Alex, and I did like Ben. I used to send Ben Christmas gifts, but they don't know anything about dogs. They don't, they don't really care about dogs. They, just, they only care about selling things. Get over yourself, Kelly. <laughs> they only care about marketing, selling their product. Get over yourself, Kelly. I know, but it's... The things that they do, they should go out of their way to make sure things are safe. You know, that IQ with that continuous button right in the middle that was raised higher than it. So there was no way. I said, I can't accidentally not hit it. What about somebody? It's my business, though, David, when this guy publicly calls me out and sicks his mob on me and then I see he's literally the worst trainer on the planet. So if he said this is a special circumstance, so now you'll make his, your opinion of him, everybody's business. <laughs> I'm awful. I am, but people should understand what dog training is. If I wanted to have my dog trained and they came back and said, here's a rope and a cot, I would say, am I... Do I do this in my house? I, I have this leash inside my house? Or am I outside, exposed to my neighbors, forcing my dog onto a cot? I mean, how long? Do I stand there for an hour? I mean, I would be saying, you know, there's, it's not relationship building if you're starting out. I mean, nobody says the most important thing is a cot. Everybody says the recall. If you said it doesn't take very specific steps to get a recall, as far as I know, it does. As far as I know, it does. I mean, there's nothing. I realize, I mean, when I was younger, the dogs we had didn't come when they were called. When my dad was in Vietnam, when he left, we, we had a collie. Everybody did back in the 60s. It was Lassie. It was a beautiful dog. I asked my mother if she saw any pictures of it. Shannon was the dog's name. And Shannon ran away all the time. And she said, what happened? I was only six years old. My dad was gone. My dad was in Vietnam. I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't listen old enough to understand what was going on, but I knew, I knew something was wrong. I mean, I knew something wasn't right. And Shannon ran away, as Shannon always did. And she said, was Shannon okay? No. Shannon got hit by a car and killed. So if you said, that's where it all started with your recall. <laughs> yes! I mean, I don't even know if my mom was out loud. I don't even want to bring that memory up to them because I'm sure my mom, that was probably the most terrible time in my mom's life. But I know the dog, I do have recollections that the dog didn't come when it was called. And I know, you know, my dad was gone. I don't know how long he'd been gone, but I don't think he'd been gone very long, but it ran. And, and then we didn't have a dog after that. Our neighbor was a state trooper. And my dad, he had, he had told my dad that he would look after us, you know, while he's in Vietnam. So that was our next door neighbor. So if he said what happened, then he went down there and got Shannon's body and buried him. I never did see it. I think that bothered me. If he said then what happened, then the same next door neighbor ran over a fox and thought that. All right, David, I'm, so, I'm sorry you had to get dumped into my crazy thing, but thank you for tuning in. And I, I do, I do respect your work and your commitment and everything to this craft. I know you're not, I know you're not one of these people that's easily fooled. It's, there's just certain people. There are certain people, they either know what they're looking at or they don't. And if they don't, it's been my experience, it's very hard to get, if they either know what they're looking at or they don't. If, if, if they, you know, it's just how it is. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Anyway, you guys, so the dog got run over and that's how it all started with my recall thing. Anyway, I'm gonna do a quick, I'm gonna go do outside dogs. I'm gonna do puppy episode. Oh, someone's coming to pick up a dog. They're not coming for an hour. I'm gonna do a quick puppy episode and You know, I'm just, I'm going to continue this work as long as I can. I want better tools. And I think that that's the only way is you've got to push to get better tools. You've got to outgrow the tools. If you never outgrow the tool, am I wrong, David? If you never, if you never outgrow the tool, you, they wouldn't have invented electric tools. You'd still be screwing everything in with a manual screwdriver. People outgrew those tools, and they got better tools, and they continue to outgrow tools. If you say, what about the e-collar? No, they don't outgrow it. They're all subpar. They're all operating on a subpar level. 
And I was able to push Dogtra for a couple of things. The ARC was my idea. If you said what part, the, the collar box. If you said, well, I sent him that video of Bart Malone's old Martin. And I said, listen, these Europeans, y'all better get on your, you know, y'all better get on the shit. Because this is the collar design the Europeans have come up with now. Instead of this big box, they're going ergonomic. So they invented the ARC. If you said what was wrong with it, the pager was too weak. So if you said another Edsel, another one of Kelly's Edsel inventions. Yeah. <laughs> another one of Kelly's Edsel inventions. They sent me the collar. I've got all kinds of videos of it. It didn't work. The pager was too weak. I had all kinds of videos. The collar's on the dogs. And for whatever reason, they could not feel that frequency. They would not respond to that. Because if you said only the dogs that were previously conditioned with the other collars, that would have been the only dogs I would have had. But I knew immediately. I'll go find some of the old footage. If you said you look like a bag lady that you dressed from a thrift store. I did. I dressed from a thrift store back then. So don't pay any attention to what I was wearing. Anyway, you guys, I will be back. And I love all you guys. And I don't, you know, I don't want to seem like some bitter psychopath going after this guy. But he's that bad. It's, it's that bad. If he wants to diagnose me as mentally ill, because that's what he said when I called out that video of the Golden Retriever. Oh, she's having a manic episode. I don't know what's going on with this woman, but she's insane, so watch out. If he said that's, you have a long history of mental illness. Uh, so I, I'm able to now diagnose this guy as an exhibition narcissist that doesn't have any idea at all how to train dogs. Training dogs isn't forcing them on a cot. It really isn't. If you said your modern owner is looking for that, your modern owner says a few very basic things. It won't come when it's called. It jumps all over people and pulls on the leash. They're all saying, if you said write those three things down and check it off every time over the years that somebody calls and says, this you know the jack box. It pulls, won't come when it's called, and jumps all over people. Three completely unrelated issues that have nothing to do with each other. Or do they? Anyway, I love you guys, and I do. I'm, I get tired of being disappointed in people. I feel like my personality is just becoming flat. It's hard for me to get excited about things. and It's hard for me to get excited about helping people. I don't, I don't want to be like that. I really don't. I'm just going to keep uploading footage because the value of any dog training footage is your ability to review it over and over and over again and review it in slow-mo. I want you to know that I watch my own videos. This is what I say to myself. I view myself strictly as the handler. I don't say, oh look, there's Kelly. My head isn't even have in most of the puppy videos. So I'm just the handler. If I was the narcissistic, narcissistic exhibitionist like Taylor, I would be like this and the puppies would be secondary in every video. But I watch these videos. It's almost like a suspense. It's almost like, uh, you know, a suspense movie. I say to myself, this handler better reward that puppy right now. <laughs> That's what I say as I'm watching it back. If you, I usually do. I say to myself, I hope that handler sees what that puppy just did and rewards that puppy. And I did. I was watching it this morning while I was on the elliptical. I was, and I was like, I hope that, because I couldn't see my face. I was, it was just, it was just like, I was doing my... I was doing all four of them once, and I said, act now, you know, and I did, I did, but if you said it's an art to be able to talk and do that, out of do the thing, out of, it must be. Anyway, I know you guys say sure it's like, who cares? Anyway, Marlene cares, that's, I'll do a show for Marlene every day if I have to. Once my friend Marlene was in trouble, then I was right there. And I'll make a show for her every day if I have to. Anyway, I've got the video from Tractor Supply. Let me tell you what happened. I went in there. My phone was dead. And the other phone, they must not have free Wi-Fi. Okay, they're probably out there, girl. They're, they put them way out there by that second gate. And um, so I'm sure if they come here practically every single day, I get stuff delivered. So it's out there. Don't worry. Anyway, girl. And they've already eaten this morning. They had enough food for this morning. And sometimes I give them some of the other... You know, I have a large variety of food out there. I just give them different snacks of different stuff here and there. They, they like that. I said all dogs do. They do. 
Anyway, they're doing great, though. And I want you to... Listen, girl, what I want you to do, though, show me, get, get Katrina or whatever, if they're... Or they're probably not back yet, but I need to see a picture of these collars that you have. And if they're older or if they're not going to be reliable, we need to just get new ones right away because these collars are going to be... If you said, I'm a weak handler and it's my only saving grace. You're a weak handler and it's your only saving grace. So... You've got to make sure you've got the right collars and that they're functioning because these dogs are big and occasionally they will do that. If I let them out, if they're real excited, they started doing that little Clash of the Titans thing, you know, where they start kind of like going at each other, whatever. If you said, do we want that? No, we don't. So, you know, we need to make sure that we can kind of deal with that too because you don't want to be in the middle of the Clash of the Titans of those two. Anyway, all right, listen, you guys, I'm going to go outside and I will be back. I'll be like, I got somebody picking up a puppy and I'll probably go live with, I'll probably just do some simple inside drills. I was so tired yesterday. I had to run to Dr. Castro's and I had to, if you said, who cares? Get on with your life, lady. We don't need to hear every detail. I'm going to order a cake online. If you said, who cares? <laughs> you should too. You should too. When you get back home, I'm going to order you a cake online, Marlene, and send it to your house. That's the thing to do nowadays. You just order people cakes and stuff. If you said instead of baking them yourself, yeah, back in the day, you baked them yourself. You said, what about now? No. Okay. Dog trust, locator. All right, we don't use the word shocker, though, Marlene. We don't shock them. A shock is something unexpected, and I'm just going to put that on my status because I'm glad you said that. A shock is something unexpected that cannot be controlled. That's what that guy was doing to that dog. That's why that dog was acting like it was because what he was doing was unexpected and uncontrollable. It was coming out of nowhere. There was no way to control it. So... Okay, but there's no, but it's not a shock. We, we may use the nick occasionally if we need to stop this clash of the titans or whatever behavior. But a shock is, by any definition, something unexpected that can't be controlled. If you said, no, I knew something was going to happen and I knew what to do and I said, that's a shock. Yeah, the only time somebody would say that would be sarcastically. <laughs> Am I wrong? A shock by any definition, is something unexpected that cannot be controlled. So it's not a shock. Okay, the locator, that's the GPS thing. Anyway, girl, I'm not sure what you mean, locator. I don't quite get your vernacular. Anyway, I gotta tell that story again. No, I won't do it today, but that story about with the time we went, remember you came down with Stevie and his two friends, Bell and Cole were here, and we went to Mike's Corner. Remember? I'm going to tell that story about it. I told it to Katrina that day. Well, I'll tell it in person. I still remember it very vividly. That could have gone very badly. Oh, okay. Oh, the beep. Okay, you got a collar for pointers, I see. Okay, so it's got a little bell thing on the back that throws a noise up in the air. Crazy! You might not need that, girl. If it's brand new, we might need to send that back. Because if you said, I, well, I needed the beep to figure out where they were. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't take that away from you, though, if you were dependent on that. Anyway, girly, I'll be back with them in a little bit. I got somebody picking up a puppy, and I will... I'll be live later, though, and I'll be live all weekend. And send me a message, let me know what's going on over there. Bye, girl.